morning, good evening, and good night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the talk show. Today, we have the one and only Umbra Kinetic, or Umbra, or Umbra. It's a funny thing, actually. It's it's Umbra if you're just saying Umbra, but it's Umbra Kinetic if you're saying Umbra Kinetic. Okay, I did not actually know that until now. That's... I, I, make, I make the lives of everyone around me hell by this simple fact. <laughs> well, I'm going to... Hopefully try to keep that in mind throughout- I'm just gonna call you Umbra. That'll make it a lot easier. That works, that works. Alright, well, let's see, you are definitely- Okay, so first off, I'm pretty sure you've already known this, I've said it before, I'm pretty sure, but like, the art story is like legit one of my, if not my favorite story in PA as of right now. Genuinely. Thank because you. Because it's- How did you- Okay. Okay, I was gonna- I had something else first, but I wanna just ask, how did you like come up with the idea of just the PNGs and the levels and like just- The concept of art story, like- what even is it? Because I don't still don't fully understand it as of right now. Uh, what do you mean understand? Like, the like, story uh, behind it? I guess, yeah, because I'm pretty sure what I get right now is just it's just an art museum. And then something... That's about it. <laughs> art museum. Okay, yeah. Um, so, the actual story behind art story would be that you're, like, in a VR headset, right? This uh, The art oh. museum is just a VR art museum. Oh. And you're exploring it. No one else is in the museum except you, but suddenly it gets locked down and you're sh shut in there and things start to go crazy. And that's why it sort of starts to go off the rails pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Like, you hear... In the first level, that's our the tempo picking up. Like you sort of panic a little bit, I yeah. think. Yeah. The, the the songs gradually get a little more and more intense. Additionally, towards the start, yeah, towards the start of art story. I mean that of that's art. You're like navigating through, um, the museum, and I sort of wanted to represent that as I was making it. Like you see, there's one of yeah, those attacks, like and, and it was one of the things before the maze actually. You see, like, a, a panel that you have to dash through, but then it opens up and it's, like, a, a, a door. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, I can see that now, actually. Like, uh, blueprints from a top-down perspective, something like that. Ooh, okay, that's... That's... I did not know that. I, this is, like, really, like, the first time hearing an in-depth, like, explanation of the art story, I guess. I didn't even know it was in a VR headset. I didn't know it was, like, any of that. I just kind of thought, yeah. oh, funny, your funny art museum. And the pictures start moving. Yeah, that. And um, to go with that, like, the sisters, Clotho, Atropo, and Lachesis, mm -hmm. they're all just, like, AIs. They're art pieces, but they have minds of their own. And I've made, like, um, toy ass profiles for them. Oh. If people want to learn more about them. You know, maybe, perhaps, maybe description check, maybe, perhaps. If I don't forget. Yeah, yeah, check the description, guys. Also, sub, yeah, special also, drain. True, true. Actually, moving on to the first topic, because you were in the community before even I was, which was like August. Wait, how do, actually, when did you like first, I guess, download, install, or like join the Discord PA? I can't remember the exact date, but I can remember like the things that were going on. For example, um, maybe a week after I joined, OL666 dropped a new Dawn, and oh. I like that was so, so cool. Like, I had already gotten hooked into the game. From the moment I learned about it, I learned it through like Thon Zero's Coalesce. But okay. then I saw a new Dawn, and I was like, "Holy shit! This is what the editor is capable of." A new Dawn is still to this day holds up pretty well. I, I'm really, I'm really a big fan of like Olaf's like older style. It's got, a, it's got a vibe to it. It absolutely does have a vibe to it, and especially like the way that you had to deal with some of the jank in the old editor, for example. I'm pretty sure a new Dawn was made before the editor update, which allowed you to collapse objects. So, uh, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. One, one editor bin must have just been taken up by nothing but Jestar's model because you couldn't place anything else down in there. Not reliably. Yeah, yeah that God, that sounds awful now. Yeah, I think Jesus. Even, I think even after that, I started, I, I didn't even, I never collapsed objects. I don't know, like, I'm pretty sure, like, some of the levels, I think, like, for a checkout, like, the first checkout, I didn't collapse any objects because I, I, I didn't even know about it until, like, oh later my God. on. But... I mean, it's, it wasn't that horrible. Checkout wasn't that, you know, much of a hassle to make, I guess. But yeah, collapsing object now saved my life, especially with Checkout Two now. It's so good for organization. I'm. It's yeah. like God. Imagine the uh, the helpers in the, the that big part with the Jetstar. Oh yeah, because that was before the um, decoration object update too. Yeah, what was the the some the 
What was it called? The it was called the something seven branch, that with the editor. Was it editor? I remember. I don't know if it's even a port. It was like a something seven editor. You mean it. like um the version? Yeah, version. Number? Yeah, version seven. Yeah, that's what it was called. Yeah. Yeah, version OL, seven. Oh yeah. Oh, I was just like refused to go on any other editor until he got new. Yeah, and even then, Ol states that he wants to stay with the legacy editor currently until it's gone and he has to update to the new editor. Oh yeah, same, because the new editor is still like, it's got a few little things in there that just like, kind of frustrate me, I'd just rather stay on the legacy. I can think of two bugs, exactly two, that really have messed with the new editor, but once they're gone, like, I'm not gonna have any qualms, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna You're gonna go, go straight the to the new editor. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, you were talking about Art Story, I've been procrastinating it because I'm like, I'll keep waiting for the update, keep waiting for the update, I, I fucking forget that Lily is a solo dev. Yeah, we all do. It's great though. I, I don't know, the UI kind of messes, they kind of like, I don't know, the UI is weird, I don't like the smooth edges. There's a lot of, just a lot of just small things in there that I'm just, I'm iffy on, which won't like, I won't, I'm not able to like, I guess change to it. I hear that. I'm. I mean, the UI change is neat, but like, I don't think it was necessary. Mm, yeah, if it were more similar. I think I'd be a more fan of it, or at least to try it out. But I've only tried it out a few times. I've done some. I actually put a few filters on to check out too, like some of the glitch effects, which look pretty cool. But you know, I'd rather not have it uploaded only on Editor Alpha, and then it'll bug out. I feel like a little more. So I, I, I stick with Legacy, but it was cool to see how like the effects looked. Direct directional lens is, is, is a fire, though. That's awesome. Directional lens sounds like it's a great feature. And I imagine, like, Glitch would work very well in the context of uh, Checkout 2. Yeah. And I think that you could always, like, update the level once the new editor is a lot more stable. 100%, yeah. I, I would be so down for that. I think you, you, you also said you wanted to add, like, a few more effects to previous art story levels, too, with, like, Glitch and stuff and, like, all that. Yeah, that is the main reason why I'm waiting for the editor update, is because I want to make the current level that I'm making now um, have like these effects, mainly glitch. And then because the new editor takes out like grain zero, I'm going to uh, go back and add a glitch in place of grain for all of the previous art story levels. I don't know, I, I feel like I'm, a big, I'm more big of a fan of a Green Zero, honestly, than, than Glitch. Glitch is still pretty good, though. I feel like it's a solid replacement. Glitch is very good. It's not Green Zero, but, you know, it's got the Glitch part. Yeah. Plus, you can also do, like, a sort of um, mix with Glitch and Green Zero. You can have, like, the Hue keyframe and oh, just yeah, spam yeah. keyframes with that. That's gonna, be, that's gonna be something. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's, um... All right, don't let the six-year-old get their hands on that. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, what would he do? Well, what, what does he know? What was he cooking? Well, I guess, yeah, so so you joined... Okay, so back to the, the uh, first thing. So a week after you joined the Discord, or around, I guess, so a new dawn came out, so... Okay, so you def... I think you joined, yeah, before I did. I think you joined before I did. I think I joined around when Medusa was being made. And then... Oh, yeah, that... Because I was there for a new dawn. I was there, I gave suggestions for surface tension yeah i was so, yeah i must have yeah and i wasn't i think i was on the youtube side when i think i, I think it was uh i remember it was before meowshin came out uh and then uh i think i remember pure gink coming out and exoplanet came out too as well the, the so you must have least around I, oh no no the first thing the first i remember the, i remember uh party time was i think number two on the most popular of the week on the workshop, I think at the time when I was when I joined when I first went to the workshop to get like right meow and stuff. Okay, well I don't keep track of the most popular list. Um, no, I just remember that because I had it recorded on a YouTube video. I see. Um, yeah. So yeah, I must have joined the server before you, but you must have been in the community longer than I have. No, you definitely ever. did because I remember you criticized Nautilus because that was a, that was yeah. a moment. <laughs> I think you were like you were like one or the one the, one of the first people. Like, one of the first two people I definitely have ever talked to on the Discord server. Well, I mean, yeah, like, that was a time where we were still, like, getting new level creators, and each one was really important. So I saw your level in Nautilus, and I was like, it's not great, <laughs> but it's a level, and it's a level creator who wants to make more, so yeah. I feel obligated to help them out. And, I mean, fuck, look at you now. Yeah, I mean, check out, check out too, yippee! That, that did yippee! good. Yippee! Yippee! And that did good, I think. You did do good. I'm. It's like what a what a glow up. 
<laughs> yeah, def. I'm never. I'm never looking at. I haven't looked at Nautilus in like six months. I'm never going back to it. I have. I have. I'm a moderator on the workshop, so I can see it whenever I want. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, anybody can at this point. Not unless I delete it. Nobody can see it then. No. <laughs> Wait, what about uh, what about surrender? When did you, when you made that? When did you make that? Because I think most people don't even know that that was a level that you made at this point. Surrender. Yeah. Uh. Well, I surrender is hidden now because envy is unverified they might be verified through inactivity soon but yeah. i don't think yeah. pe many people know about surrender i think a lot of people know my first level was switchblade but surrender was actually interesting because i think uh, i started making cool. that in a sorry what uh, i just said switchblade was cool switchblade was cool yeah. surrender i believe i started making in a completely different state altogether um i learned about project arrhythmia shortly before we moved and i think i had started making surrender um in one state and then we moved and then i finished it in that in another surrender on the road a surrender on the road <laughs> as far as first levels go like i know people like to cringe on their first levels but i don't think it was that bad like uh, it, I remember it, wasn't that, it wasn't that bad not definitely not nautilus level it was it was it wasn't that bad it was just some stuff was really fast i remember that i don't remember much else though yeah i definitely had an issue with pacing <laughs> back then but i think i've gotten a lot better at that yeah, yeah you definitely have yeah i love the level levels you make now yeah i wanna i wanna get back to making levels so i hope the update will drop soon so hopefully yeah i, I really wanted to because i got there's so much more, more potential with this especially with the player keyframes i'm really excited to see those in action yeah, the player keyframes. They're not even fully implemented yet, you know? Yeah, we have, not yet. Um, Do, wait, you did it? Because last time I checked, there was, it wasn't even like able to be used. Are there like some effects for it now? Yeah, the, so in the latest update, players have um, a fourth keyframe, which passively changes their position. So like, you, you set a force of like X50, and the player will constantly move uh, left a little bit. Oh, so it's, it's like sucking it into a different position. Yeah, so it's like being oh. able to move the player without having to move the camera. Oh, okay. That is something that for like a, a, a future true power level, I, I, there's something that I wanted to do, but I needed to suck the player into the middle. That's perfect for what I try to from what I'm trying to do for that part. With uh, the level. No, you can't suck the player into the middle. It's um, can't. no, it's like you x fifty, then the player moves to the left constantly. It's like a, a general force. Um, uh, so you can't move into like, like zero zero? No, no. Uh, I think, well, I mean, I think you will be able to modify the actual player position at some point. I think Lily confirmed that. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna happen eventually. I'm not too worried but about that's, it. But that's not what Force is. Um, mm -hmm. Force is something else entirely. And then eventually you'll be able to enable and disable dashing, which is like, hello, oh, yes. Yeah, that mazes are gonna be so much more fair now. Bullet hells? Bullet, oh god, no. <laughs> Yes. Some levels are just going to be sharp and possible now. You, wait, uh, you really... I would believe I believe Skult and Eldar would like to have a word with you. Okay, well they're not. I'm not them. Okay. Unfortunately, I am not them. Would that be that'd be cool if it was like a levels that aren't possible dashless? Like if you could like enable them, like if you wanted to like no hit them or just play them without dashing, like you could have like a like a I guess like a no dash mode in that certain level if you want to play without dashing. That'd be pretty cool. I considered doing that for uh, like I think it was Lino, Line Delta, mm -hmm. but yeah. I, at some point like I got frustrated with attacking, with designing some of the attacks in the level, and so I used like a circle pulse. And I was like, screw it, I don't, I don't care if it's possible dashless or not. Originally, yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I think I wanted to make a, a play with fire. That one, I wanted to make that one a possible dashless as well. So far, I think it's pretty good, but. I don't know if I'll do that in the future. There's some stuff that I really want to do, but it's going to be probably really fast-paced. So I'm not sure. I might just give up midway and just like make it a normal official Dre level. Which is completely valid, you know? It's like, yeah. you don't have to stick to these challenges if they're like not worth it. Yeah, there's some just, yeah, some complications. Sometimes just getting the level out is good enough. Oh yeah, gotta feel good to get check out too, though. My god. I've had a feeling of releasing a level in over a year. That was the longest time. Yeah, I haven't. Well, when was the last time I released a level of my own? Like that was Lino, was, right? Technically, PA Memories three, but uh, Lion Lino that was. Oh, well, so 30th, level, I mean. March thirtieth, twenty twenty two. 
Okay, so it's coming up on the year. Yeah, shoot. That's gonna be Jesus. interesting. And what is like the closest thing you have done right now? So yeah, that's the next level in Arc Story, um, and which how, is about how... halfway done, I think. Oh, halfway, and really? I think it's about halfway done, but I'm also running out of ideas, and some of the sound design in the song is really hard to get a feel for, with like attacks oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, because I think and you, I'm said, generally... you, said an story, you said an art story that you wanted to use songs that... Uh, you said... Wait, I feel like I remember saying you saying that you wanted to use songs that weren't like usually used, or something like that? That's the goal with most of my level collection, right? It's I don't want to use songs that have been used before. Mm. But yeah. with art story in particular, it's like I want to use songs that you wouldn't normally hear. Yeah. I, yeah, that makes sense. And also, I've noticed that all of the three songs so far have all been in lowercase. The fourth one, lowercase as well. Yeah, the um, next one is lowercase. I think they're all lowercase. That's perfect. Except Good. for the last one. Uh, the no, last one is broken. Not subscribing to, to that art. Well, no. It's because the last one is in all caps, and it's because it's versus Nemesis. Oh, okay. Immersion. I, I, I'm immersed again. Good. Epic. Um, epic final boss. I absolutely have to get you on, because Versus Nemesis will be a collab, and I absolutely have to get you on that. Oh I might as God. well... That'd be cool. I, I mean, I saw a checkout too, and I was like, this man has mastered the glitch. He's mastered the glitch animation. Oh, I he have. needs to get on this. I will make the entity of you know, it's just, it's just promoting the checkout too. That's the entire part in my in Nemesis. <laughs> uh, yeah. That'd be, so, oh, that'd be cool to, have, to be on there. Versus Nemesis. I'm not sure who else would be, but definitely you. I also yeah. might get you on the next level because I am running out of ideas and I could use someone else's help. Dude, I would be down to help. I'll try not to look at most of the other parts before because I do still want to play it as well. But that'd be sick to have on there. Yeah, well, it's definitely worth considering, but I yeah. need to think about my options first. Yeah, there'd be some there'd be some cool creators that I would be that would be I would kill to see in the that sort of story. For sure, it's I I want to get this shit done like. Oh yeah, Wait, there's only five levels in it, right? Um, let's see. So, that's Art, Bad Dream, Line Delta... So there's yeah. six. Oh, six? Six in total. Oh, okay. I heard only five. So the fourth one... You haven't sent any previews of it, have you? The fourth one I've sent, uh, some previews of, but not very many. Yeah, I think I, I remember seeing, like, one, I think. But after that, I haven't seen many. And the first one was, I think, pretty sure it was, like, the beginning of the song. And that, I don't think I've seen any more. Oh, then you, you, I think you're in for a treat, then. Oh, boy. I hope so. Yeah, there's, like, there's times in the PA community where, like, there's just barely any levels that come out. Oh, shit. Windows, Windows security. I'm good. Anyway, there's been times, in, like, in the PA community where there have been no levels for, it's been dead. For, I'm pretty sure, like, before Checkout 2, Prism, and Wicked VIP came out, though, like, before that, there was, like, three days where just nothing came out. Like, absolutely zero levels came out that time. And then, yeah, that's... Yeah, and then after that, there's a kind of a big bump in levels. Like, four really good levels came out. Wicked VIP, Prism, check out two. And then I also saw uh, Sphere came out from Potato Wear, which I need to play because I've seen previews of it. And Potato Wear is just, like, genuinely insane, an insane animator. Yeah, Potato Wear dropped Sphere, and I saw previews for it, and it looks amazing. And yet, I haven't heard anything about this level. Like, has anyone played it? I don't know. I have to, I have definitely have to, I have to record again, dude. I have a video already, like, in the files ready to uh, edit, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. I, it's because there's this talk show. I got I got to focus on this for now, but I really want to get back into recording more PA, especially considering script has not uh, been uploading recently. PA. Well, don't push yourself. It's like that you're running too serious at the same time. Yeah, I definitely do want to go back into it though. It's it's fun playing it. Just editing is a, t uh, it's a lot of big time sink. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that'd be really cool though. I really want to get back. Home. I really want to play those levels. And uh, what about uh, before uh, Art Story? There was also uh, Lost Love, right? Is that even is that canceled or is that? Uh, Lost Love is canceled. Yeah. Ah, uh, damn. The the further away I got from completing Rip It, the more I realized like the amount of levels that I had for Lost Love was like this is never happening. How Not many, in a million years. How many levels was planned for it? Um, God, let me check. Oh no, because I think for right now for True Power, there's around. I think as of right now, there's like 10, I think. I, there might be end up being more, but I'm thinking of also like making it a collaborative project. I still gotta ask Wafer about <laughs> it, but I wanna make it like, to have more people to help me with it. Like, Cause that'd, that'd be a big help with that. <laughs> so in in chapter one, there's 17 levels. In chapter, chapter two, there's one. Nine. 17 
Jesus. Chapter 2, there's 9. God, oh my freaking. And then I planned for like optional like EX battles with super powered bosses from the story. Yeah. Dude, and then I and then I decided to go further. Like there was a, a theoretical chapter 3, but I never worked out the details of that. God, man. I god, why 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 we got to animate? Why can't we just like use our brains put it in the editor and then it'll disappear? Why is it no draw? Why it no draw? Why why it no appear? Why I got to use my hands to animate the things? Me, when I realize in order to make a level, I need to animate. <laughs> Literally. Aw, uh, dude. That, God, I'm waiting for a, like a collection like that to be done. Because, uh, the close, there's been a, like, like less than 10 collections that have ever been completed in the game, probably, at this point. Yeah, that's why I want to give the advice to people. Like, if you want to make a level collection, start small. Start Definitely, really, yeah. really small. Check out Story that's... right now is only, like, three levels. So, there's one more level for it, which would be hype. That's, yeah. That's why I decided to focus on six levels, and yeah, even then, you see, like, how long it's taking, so. Yeah, th dude, back then it took, like, a month max to make a level. Now it's taking us a year. I think it's also because it's, like, a jump in quality, because the community oh, has yeah. constantly been, uh, like... They've been evolving. Levels used to be a lot more lenient in what they could do and get away with, and... They weren't as well animated, but you know, they were fun. And oh, now yeah. the community focuses a lot on like animation and yeah, animation like and color theory and how well this works with this. And it's like, just fucking make a level, okay? Yeah, but it's also the pressure of just like, you know, what if this is not good enough? Not enough people will play it. That's how I feel. Because sometimes I have to, I feel like I have to, like, God, nope. I, I just see, I just see a lot of imperfections with myself now. And I, it's because I made it, obviously, because I get to see all the imperfections with it. So then I get, like, really, like, I get really, like, paranoid that other people are going to notice it, and then other people are just going to be, like, uh, shit level 1 out of 10. And that's probably, that's most likely just never going to happen, but... I, gu yeah. I guarantee you, no one thinks that way. Yeah, but it still gets me, it's like, it's like, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it, oh my god, I, I hate it, I don't like it, there's the one pixel, it's one pixel off, I'm going to sh shoot everyone. Christ, <laughs> it's it's, it's uh, yeah, it gets to me sometimes, but I try not to let it get to me too many too much. I think I am very lucky to have the mindset where I just don't give a fuck what I wish other people's general consensus of me is. So like that's that's where that's art started, right? Because I followed Kiyotatsuki, the artist of that's art. Yeah. Oh, it's. I, oh, I thought found... it was like. Yeah, it was, I thought I thought it was pronounced like. I don't even remember how it was spelled. I think I said I think I said something like Kiyatsu, Kiyatsuski or something like that. And then break it down into its syllables, it becomes easier. Yeah, I don't even remember the how you spell it. Anyways, yeah, continue. I followed him for a while and I just stumbled across this song. It was like nothing that I had ever really heard before. And if you look at the cover art, then oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's literally just out. like scribbles. I saw that, yeah. It's just a scribble. And I was like, you know what? With the way the song progresses, this would make a banger PA level. <laughs> so I downloaded it and I opened it up and I just went to work. I did not care about like general animation practices or anything. I did not worry about color theory. I made some I made a funny theme with like four colors. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? Let's work with this. The scribbles are speaking to me. The scribbles spoke to me. And the first draft of that's art, I actually planned for the mini boss which turned it later turned to clotho to just be like above scribbles <laughs> that would have been, been funny it would have been funny but i thought it would be funnier to take it like the high art route because yeah. it's an art museum and so you see clotho and it's just like a doodle to you but it, the artist like the end universe artist who made clotho is like it's high art it's super contemporary, and it has a billion layers of meaning. You just can't comprehend it with your tiny brain. And that's sort of where I want to take that. Oh boy. God, I, I'm just like, every level, I, I, like, I, I, all I know is that there's going to be a PNG boss, and like after that, there's, I, there's nothing that I can predict, predict to happen. Because most of them, <laughs> most of them kind of, I guess, uh, follow. I don't know, they're, they're all pretty similar themes, like... Uh, Team-wise, I guess most different ones so far. I think feel I feel is a bad dream. Definitely, I really, I really like bad dream. Like that was really bad good. dream. That would be um Atropo, right? Yeah, and uh, Scribs never played it. Sad. I, I cannot been, believe awesome. Scribs never played it. I'm so I'm I'm a little upset about it. 
Yeah, it would have been so awesome to see that because that, that was like that, that was really good because uh, Bad Dream itself was already a really uh, it's already a really different song compared to everything in PA. And also, Bad Dream was, was really good. Yeah, Bad Dream was the one exception to like not using songs that have already been. I broke my own like. Yeah, it was worth it. Though, worth like, it. Though. Good song, good level. Worth it. It is a good song. I won't deny. And God, I'm, I'm excited to see what the next one is because the, the yeah the only preview I've seen it was just black screen, and yellow balls just going through the going through the screen and that's about it. Yeah, um, I'm excited to see what I could do uh, regarding the new thing that's introduced in the fourth level and mm -hmm. how that will work going forward. Ooh, new thing, like a boss. I, a... I'm I'm keeping it vague so that. Okay. People don't get like ideas at the time. All right, all right, fair, dude. That's gonna be exciting. I'm, I'm really, I really got. I, I hope this comes out soon. And if I, if I have to hop on it, that'll be even better, dude. I'll be a part of the art. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it. you might, you might contribute to actually making the level. So oh, like, dude. I'm canon to our story. <laughs> Dre is canon. Yeah, official Dre. It is in, is in the art museum. Yeah. You know, I could actually probably fit an Easter egg with you in there somewhere. Hell yeah. But not, not in the fourth level, but I think the fifth level. You'll see what I mean. Ooh, I've been thinking. There's gonna be like a like a bunch of like paintings in the background or what? I can't tell you. Okay. Well, if if you tell me, I will spoil. I will spoil everything. You can tell everybody. I will. I will steal your gallbladder. Aw. Uh, again. <laughs> Anyways, do okay. So aside from PA, you also do music as well, right? Yes. I I uh, I try and promote my music as much as I can. I hope. It takes off a little bit more in the PA community, but at the end of the day, I'm doing this for fun. Yeah, dude, I, I heard of the other artists as well, Chimera Labs, like, they're, they're making some banger stuff. Chimera Labs, yeah, they're pretty interesting. Yeah. I, um... You should definitely also I mean, to them. It was, it was great collabing with them for the debut album, yeah. but I hope they make some more stuff of their own sometime soon. Yeah, hopefully they, they, uh, they take off. Their the music is pretty good. Yeah, I think they got... They've, got, they've got a really good theme going with them, too. Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. It's unique. I guess, yeah, Chimera Labs, I think... Okay, should, should we keep this big going, or should we just pretend that... No, we, you, you, we can. <laughs> okay, but with Chimera Labs, how did that go, then? How did that start? Sorry. So with Chimera Labs, um... I felt a little bit restrained, because hmm. with an artist name, you sort of develop, like, a brand and identity around yeah. your name. And I have been making a lot of EDM as Umber Kinetic. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do something different, but without having to sacrifice the identity that I've built up so far. So I came up with Chimera Labs. It started as a doodle. Oh. And I just thought, like, how about I make something that's a, a conglomerate, like an amorphous blob that shifts and grows and develops. So, that would be representative of the song. So it's like that, a story like, through the music. Yes. Mm, okay. So, be interesting to Chimera Labs is not bound by any one genre. It will make Multiple. anything and everything. Anything at once. Yes, and I hope that will be more apparent the more I develop uh, tracks under Chimera Labs. And I have several ideas for things that I want to do with Chimera Labs, oh, yeah, but yeah. not yet. Yeah, I've heard. I, I don't. I'm be honest with you. I haven't heard everything. I think I've heard like a good maybe like three or four tracks I, th I feel like, and I like them. Like they're 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 interesting. They're all they're all really different as well. Like they're, none of them are like the same. Well, good. That's that's the point. Yeah, you're doing pretty good on that as well. When's the what was the last one even released? Like what? Uh, the last out? Chimera Labs track w released was called Again. Mm. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I uploaded it the day that I created it, and I created it in one sitting, which I oh, didn't damn. even know I could do. No, I, I don't understand. I, I tried making okay, like I tried making a song once. I shared it to a certain server, and that that is dead now. We deleted it, and I'm not I'm not ever going back to it ever again. I hate that song. Everybody hates it. I sent it to one person. They said it was good. Like two months later, they're like, "Yeah, I was lying to shit." I'm never I'm never <laughs> playing anything like that song. I'm never I'm never doing it. It was terrible. Yeah. So, like, here's the funny thing, because I remember my original musical journey. It yeah. was, like, I could not do anything that wasn't just slapping instruments onto a MIDI track. Because when I tried to make my own original music, 
I would sweat so goddamn bad that I need to get up from the laptop and just like walk around. Oh. That's how bad my original music was. Well, I don't think it was even bad, but it was just a terrifying process yeah. because I had no idea what I was doing. But over time, you sort of develop like a sense of consistency and style with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And now I'm able to pretty confidently produce bangers. Oh, definitely. I think uh, I remember I was I was hooked on a repost for like a month. Reposte. Reposte, yeah. I, yeah I, I, have, I don't know if that's a pro correct pronunciation either. No, okay. Well, whatever. Well, riposte, whatever, however you want to say it. That song is... Antipasta. It's true. I was on that song for like a month. That shit slapped. Yeah, and it also was my first... Eggs. That's also one of my favorites as well. So I see you're a fan of the classics. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, Reposte. Reposta was one of my favorite, it was one of my first Electra tracks, and I've tried to do a little bit more with that as I went on. Um, Love Potion I'm pretty happy with, although uh, I probably played it a bit safe. I don't think I ever heard Love Potions. Oh my god, then you're missing out. Oh, am I? <laughs> yes. Oh, I should definitely do that then. Also, you should uh, definitely... I remember also, it was it Starsight, I think. That was a really good song as well. Starsight, the budget remix of Starbite. I, th I think. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. The song slap either way. Yeah, Starsight. I mean, I just I, I liked the character that Starbite had, so I wanted to do something else with them, and I made Starsight. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's that's a really I love that song. That all oh, just majority of your music. I remember. I, I specifically I remember the. Uh, yeah, I saw Blade X obviously repost and Starsight, and then you. Uh, uh, the other one it was a freaking aliens. I'm pretty sure as well. I like that song as well. Freaking aliens. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you, you have so much. You have so much music I still need to listen to. I, they're, they're all really good. But you, you put. Uh, sometimes you'll just post a bunch of music at once, and then like you'll slow down for a little bit, and you will keep posting more. Yeah, I think I'm in a little bit of a slump, but I'll come back soon. I'm sure. Oh yeah, um, definitely. When you come back, it's gonna be banging. Yeah, you've listened to a lot of my older tracks, I think, but like yeah. the mystery of Blacklight. Definitely worth checking out because oh, that's where Love Potion. Okay, I actually, I never, I, didn't, I don't think I ever, I, I know you were talking about it, but I never heard any of the Blacklight songs. I don't think I need to. Well, on those. yeah, you can listen to all of it. It's it's free. You can like, I've got the full album mix, the you full can, album stream you on viewers, my YouTube it's channel. Free, and you can listen it's, to it. Well, the album is not free. You have to pay oh. for the album, but you can listen to the album stream for free. You hear that, viewers? Buy it. Give him money. Make, listen to his yeah, I, I made a total of like five dollars on Spotify so far in all of my months of being on it. Well, so like, you can get some McDonald's with that. I can get like a small fries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're still making bank. Hopefully soon you'll be uh hopefully it'll be a, a good source of income. Cause yeah, your stuff is like really good. Like prof some of it is like genuinely professional level in my opinion. But I'm not that good of a music expert. I just I just think that they're I just like the funny music so and songs. The music noises are good in my ears. I appreciate that. Yeah. I hope I do get there as well, but like, it's for fun, you know? It would be good if I could make a sustainable income of it, but I'm just happy if s I enjoy it and other people enjoy it. Oh yeah, definitely. God, I just, I need to listen to Repost again. I remember, I just, Reposta, Pasta, I don't know, Ravioli. I need to listen to the song again. It's, <laughs> it's so good. I, I, I need to hop back on that song. I, I really want, I need to, I'm going to listen to this, after this fucking episode. After we finish recording, I'm going back on Repost, Reposta. The entire background tracking for this <laughs> I could podcast do is nothing but I could do that. I could just I could just put I could just put Reposito on there. I'll just put the entire background. I will do that. I'm gonna do that actually. Do it. I'm doing it. I'm making the intro song that as well. It's not even gonna be like the regular intro music. It's just gonna be all Reposito. Nobody's gonna know until like 30 minutes into the actual episode or however long public we recorded so far. 30, not 40 minutes. For 40 minutes, nobody's gonna know why Reposito is the background music. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be awesome. I've watched your podcast thus far, and it's like, um, it's, it's been Christmas music. Is that just because you're catching up? No, it's been Christmas music. I don't know, I like, I like the song. It's chill. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. it. It's just, it's Christmas music because you like it. Okay. It's Christmas music, yeah, just because I like it. I can't fault you for that. Yeah, and then the intro music, I think, was like, was like, that song was like Ice and Fire. I like that song as well, but there's lyrics in it, so I couldn't keep it on for too long. Oh, sad. Yeah, but yeah, it's was, it was, it was good. It's I mean they're they're all YouTube. They're all like a uh, YouTube audio library songs to make sure I don't get the copyright shit. Oh, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, I can't blame you for that. Yeah. Oh, I love I love pasta. That song is so good. <laughs> I I I I got I got I got to move on to something else. Oh my god. 
You're into uh, you're into uh, what are you doing right now then? Since you're not really focusing on PA or music right now. So funny thing, and you might have seen this because I've been posting about it in one server, mm -hmm. but I've actually been brain rotting about uh, Child of Eden and Res again. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. So for the dear viewers. Child of Eden and Res are like old games that are rail shooters, but they're based on music. Oh. And I always, I loved these games since the moment that I actually touched them, especially Area X of Res. So I got inspired, and I've been making a game design document for something that I would want to make myself. I have, myself. Seen, them. Like, I have seen them, yeah, they're really good. They're really good concepts. Thank you. There, it's a VR rail shooter. Um, and I don't seriously think that I'm going to make a game, but working on a design document is somehow therapeutic. So hey. I've just been doing that for the past couple of days. Oh yeah, that'd be if, if it does come to life, that'd be pretty sick as well. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I'm I could like I could pitch it to Devolver Digital or something like that, but mm. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds if it does, or if your brain rot lasts long enough, we could possibly we could potentially just learn to code on your own and you'll make it yourself. That's how far I don't think go. my brain rot. I don't think my brain rot is that strong. Sadly, <laughs> you never know. Perhaps. Besides, I have been also making a website to host all of my projects oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff. I have, I've seen updates on that as well. Yeah, and I need to work a lot more on that, and I need to work on my classes. So, as far as the game goes, I don't think I should really be focusing on it right now. I'm just letting my brain rot carry me for right now, but I need to be focusing on other stuff too. You got a lot. Of, you, is it just that for now, or where you've got a lot of stuff other other else that you're working on right now? There's a ton of stuff that I'm sort of shifting it around on. Like after more than two things, my brain over over like overheats. I can't do too many things at once. There's one one time yeah, during like the Christmas when I was doing those 5K videos on top of like the talk show on top of check out two as well on top of all that. I, I was just I couldn't do it. Yeah. Um. Well, here's my secret. I couldn't do that either. Okay. Well, that, that makes me feel a little more better then. It's like, how do you do it? I don't. I don't. The brain does the thing, and I just follow Galaxy it. brain. Literally. Brain autopilot. That's just how it works. Really? The creative mindset is just... It's weird. It's just... It's just it just, it just it carries you. Like, it, it, sometimes you just have no idea. Like, I don't know. I don't know. The brain is just, just fucking dumb. It does things. I, I, I don't know. The brain... Idea. I don't think we'll ever be able to understand human brain. I don't... Man... It, well, definitely never. We only use like what, two like percent of the brain in our entire life. Isn't it like ten percent? I don't know. Ten percent. It's still, it's, if we use a hundred percent of it, we I think we just start flying. Like, it's we'll, like we'll, um, we'll, do, we'll do some weird things if we start using hundred percent of our brain. Lucy. Maybe, maybe then we'll fit our we'll fix the selection bug at that point. We need a hundred percent of our <laughs> brain to fix the selection bug. Maybe. I mean, shit. Have you pitched that to Lily? We should do that. Just use hundred percent of your brain. It's not that hard. <laughs> We got the few. We got the, we got the good topics. So we got some cool art, art story lore. I, I figured out that it was a VR art museum. I didn't know that. Yeah, That's and cool. also I forgot to mention this, but they have toy house profiles, and also they have you know official PA character profiles, and you can learn from either one of them. Oh okay, yeah, send me the link like right now, and I will put I, I will pin it. I will make sure to put it in the description when this when this video comes out, like in a week or so. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm oh, getting yeah. links. Let's go. Anyways, yeah, I guess that's uh, it's a pretty short one, but I think we got we got everything that we wanted to discuss out of the way. This has been I think so. Yeah. I, I should also. I don't think I mentioned it, but I also need to talk about like art story more in depth at some point. Oh, do you want to do one of those videos where it's like just like solely like you script it and then you just read off like what, or just maybe off the heart what you want to do or what the point of art story is, I guess. I think I'm pretty that sure would be, uh, Noodle did that with heartstrings. Right? It would be nice if I could actually do that, but that require me pulling off like a video where I just talk to myself and then edit a video of just me talking to myself. And I don't think I have the sheer willpower to do that. Uh, fair, I guess. I don't know how people listen to their own. No, I'm not really that big of a fan of my own. I'm not really that big of a fan, but I'm not really like uh, against it. I'm just kind of like, yeah, that's that's me. That is me. Freeze frame. Yep, that's me. <laughs> you might You're probably wondering how I got into this situation. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's about it. 47 minutes of awesome discussion of art, lost love. Uh, what else did we do? Uh, Toy House. Uh, click the link in the description. Do that. Camera Labs. Music. Camera Labs. They're really cool. Better than Umbra, I think. 
I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> nah, but yeah, thanks for coming on. That was fun. Hopefully, I'll be getting it was, time, yeah. I'm gonna, gonna be able to speed through these, hopefully. It was my pleasure to be here. Yeah. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't as awkward as we thought as it was to be, right? It was better than we expected. Yeah, we, um, funny thing, Dre started this, uh, podcast by, with, like, three minutes of forgetting to plug in the fucking hey, microphone. We don't, we don't talk about that. That's not what we talk about. We don't talk about that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not keeping that in there. I'm, we're, we're cutting that out. I, we're not, I did not forget anything. I did not do anything. I... We spoke for 47 minutes only, not 50. <laughs> that was really fun. I'm definitely going to get some more on here soon. Yep, my pleasure. If you have any more topics uh, you want to talk about eventually, uh, Season 2, I, I I will get you on again, maybe, probably. We'll see. Yo, repeats on Season 2? Let's go. Yeah, maybe. Awesome. We'll see. I don't even know if I'm going to do Season 2, but if I do, that'd be nice. Yeah, that'll be it uh, for today. See you all next uh, Sunday when we get uh, somebody else on the show. All right, goodbye.